Now when I restacked these tiles, I kind of had myself a game plan because I know that one, those two go boom, boom. And then my other notched one is behind this one. See this one here. Goes in there. Goes way over here. That one right there. Okay, so first things first, I gotta get that that one over there and I don't have anybody to help me but I want you to see that if I can do this that you should be able to do this I got my back support on my knee brace so I can't I can't put it all the way in there just yet because I have to slide it underneath that stucco. I want to get it close. It'll be a little bit harder this time to slide too because I'm on this cloth material, right? Good Lord. I have to be especially of that stick a little stick here so I can grab it with my fingers I guess in fact I should put it like that now, I don't know if I can reach it I was thinking I could could slide it and then pull it out but uh, I'm going to leave that there for right this minute. Lip. 
got a lip over here. I'm just gonna have to kind of push on it. I think it'll go. It should go. It should go over that. under here are not gonna crack or anything. I'm just gonna take it easy. I'll kick it with my foot. There it goes. adjustments on this, more than likely. But do you see, that's pretty much where that one's going to live. Do you see why I put the black down there? Because they cut it short there, you can see, you can see black through there. You see black all along that line, wasn't that a good idea? I put the black caulking underneath these columns after I prepped everything. I put the black caulking there so you don't see that. Okay, so now that that one's living there, I've got to do this last one over here. I can't put the, the flat square ones down, boom, boom, until I get that one done. And that's the one where I've got a little small piece that fits in the corner and I had written on it door see I could hard see I could hardly see it door right side it says and there's only one finished edge and it's this one here and here See everywhere else, it's not. So I know the cut side goes against the wall. This is the pre-finished edge. I wouldn't want it to go in there. So does it matter? Yeah, of course it matters. Of course. fits but this tile is probably going to come out 12 inches to the center of this next one. Boy, that thing's wobbly because it's because of all that gap back there. So maybe I can fix that. And you see when you cut your shims, here's, here's the cuttings of those shims that I was using. Don't throw them away. You never know when you're going to use these, right? I don't throw any of my shims away. 
little pieces like that. Because there's uh, 3 16 and 3 16 I could fit it like that. That's, that's close to a half. That's 3 8 probably. Yeah. So see, I would have to... I would have to put another one on there too. Maybe something like that. Something like that. I'll, I'll see. I'll see how that works. I'll just put it. We'll just put one back there. Ah, it's not gonna fit until I rip it down. Damn it, Nabbit. Okay. You gonna do that to me? Fine. Let's just. Let's just see what we got to do here. Got one of those. One of these has to be cut off. Don't mess with me, I'll mess with you. Bye bye. So I get one like that. I didn't even think I was going to have to do this, but hey, I think it's probably for the best so that one piece doesn't set at an angle. Granted, it's up against the wall, you know, but because I have the shims, I'm going to try to fix it. I'll try to fix it. See what I can do with that. I'll try something like that. There. I only needed one little spot. actually up just a hair too high so I've got I've got another little shim here it's a little bit thinner Let's sandwich that in between these others and see what that does there that, I think that's going to work Yep, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. No, it's not teeter-tottering. And it's going to be close to 12 inches. I, I can leave that there. It, when I push the, the brick in, it'll, it'll go. And then if I have to do some adjustment on it, slide some tiles back and forth, I will. Okay. Because this... This tile right here these are 24 inches pretty close to 24 inches square okay so I know the next tile should be 12 inches and so this one here I may have to slide it out or whatever We'll see. It's right at 12 inches, so that's good. Okay. I got that one set up. Because some of these were slightly off. And I had to monkey them around a little, as I recall. Remember I did a dry run on these? From before. I had to do that because I wasn't sure initially how far I was going to have to put that piece of flashing out there because it was so dry rotters when I pulled this all out this was all lifted up and it was still kind of 
together, but it was bulged up, so I wasn't sure if this flashing was going to go right there, if it was going to have to go out further or in because of how much gap the brick was going to have. So I, don't, I didn't, initially I didn't want to have to cut any of these bricks, but I'm having a thought that this particular one right here, I may have to go to the store and try to get a cutter. This is this one here, I'm wanting to cut off about 5 16 to nothing, about, you know, maybe five inches down or so. Because when I previously lined these up, everything was lined up here. And then the last one I had pushed up tight. And it wasn't, it wasn't fitting. And this line was here, and then it went off at an angle like that to where I had to push that over and in order to push that over that meant I had to pull this one out to kind of make this line straight and then I had to rearrange a couple other tiles and then I had bigger gaps in here well I'm trying to keep everything tight and I'll have to make that decision when we get up to this next row but for right now I guess I don't have to, I don't necessarily have to have that decision right this minute, right? Okay. But if so, I'll have to stop, go to the store, get a cutter, see if I can't, see if I can't get it cut and all that. Okay, so I'm ready for my next piece. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back, yes, with more videos.